So you guys already know about Dolly, which is OpenAI's text-to-image model, and it's very, very good. You type in something and it makes a photorealistic output, but have you heard about Point E, which is OpenAI's text-to-3D model generator that came out yesterday? And when I say 3D model, it's more like it's making a point cloud, but you can technically mesh it and they have some code for that. So what is Point E? How can you access it? Where can you run it? And is it the future of 3D modeling? All of these questions to be answered. If you go to OpenAI's GitHub, you're now you're going to see something called point E. You can download the code for it. And basically what they've done is they've typed something in like blue box under red box or purple headphones or 3D glasses. And it generates a point cloud, a colored point cloud of that thing. And you can see it's handling sparse stuff pretty well, like flowers and stuff like this. You can download this and run it locally. Uh, but of course, we don't like doing that because that is a lot of work and you need to know how to do some Python code and all this. Uh, so how are people actually accessing this and running it? Well, uh, two options. One is you go to Hugging, a hugging face space where somebody's kind of made an environment or a space for this, uh, where you can type something in like, I don't know, a gray airplane, and you're gonna see the issue in a second, and we hit submit, and you're gonna see error. This application is too busy, keep trying. This came out yesterday. People are going nuts on this. There's like, oh, the queue is over like 2,000 long or something at this point. Yesterday, the queue is 500 and that was hours after it came out. So what are your options? Uh, you are going to use the IPYNB, the notebook file that you can run on Google Colab. Uh, link in the description for where you can run this and uh, it will open this up. It's a bunch of code. But uh, all you have to know is at some point we're going to type in a prompt like a gray Boeing 737, 737, and we get a point cloud that we can uh, export out and view and all this. So link in the description for you, where you can access this. And in Google Colab fashion, all you have to do to run this is hit the checkboxes. So you hit a checkbox here, you say run anyway, uh, saying I trust this Google Colab, it's not going to corrupt uh, everything in my uh, Google Drive. Um, you're going to hit these checkboxes and I'm going to speed through it. So we have this one, uh, we have this one, and I'll skip to when this is done. Okay, so I've hit the checkboxes and I'm back. And at this point, all we have to do is put in a prompt. So we're going to start off simple. Uh, we're going to have a cut. We're going to give a color and a model. So let's go for a green chair and we'll see what it spits out. We're not saying what kind of chair, we're just saying a green one. And you're gonna see when we hit this, it's gonna go for something like 130 iterations, I found, uh, unless you change the settings here. Uh, you're gonna wait for this to do the sampling and then we can actually view it. Okay, so it's done doing the 130 iterations. We're just gonna hit more check boxes. And then first, uh, we're gonna see this kind of constrained view. Uh, and you can see it's definitely doing a green chair. Um, I have run this before and it did an Adirondack chair and now it's going for more of a sofa type chair. Uh, so let me uh, run this all the way, hit the final check box and you're gonna see uh, we're gonna have a 3D viewport for this. So here you can see a green kind of armchair. Now notice I didn't specify armchair, Adirondack chair, wooden chair. Uh, it just picked one for me. So I imagine if I sample this again, it might give a different kind of chair. So I'm gonna try that right now. Let's see if it gives a different result or if I have to change the seed value or something like this. I haven't played with it too much. Oh, we're getting a completely different kind of chair. I can already tell. Uh, let's see uh, what we get. And I wonder if you go through the code if there is kind of like a seed value or something like this. Whatever, that's for later. Uh, so we run the thing hit the checkbox, hit the other checkbox, and now you're gonna see uh, we do have a green chair, uh, but it's a totally different kind of green chair. So you can see how uh, with a single prompt, you can iterate over and over and over again and get different kinds of results. So I don't know what else there is to say about this at the at this moment. Uh, there are other um, notebook files you can run to kind of mesh this. So if we look inside uh, here, you can see we have a image to point cloud, which we haven't messed with, text to point cloud, and then point cloud to mesh, uh, which generates a 3D mesh that you can import into Blender. But at this point, I think that's all there is to say about this. Link in the description, and thank you for watching.